Hey guys, this is Time Travel Penguin, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a Super Mario 64 16 star speedrun. That's right, this is a tutorial to speedrun in 16 star category. So I'm actually going to show you step by step the different things to do. So I'm going to just reset the console. Now you see how I reset the console? Generally here, if you're doing a speedrun, as soon as you hit that reset button, you will start your timer. Now this menu, uh, this main menu will appear. Now normally you'll just keep pressing start so you skip past this. Now you want to make sure your your first file, Mario A, is blank because your cursor default centered here. So you keep hitting at, uh, you keep hitting the start button and it'll take you through this cutscene. Now I'm going to load the sta save state I had previously up, and eventually you'll end up here. Now this. Uh, I've saved stated here so I can show you what happens uh, at this point. Generally after about a minute you gain control and you're at this point of the game where you can just hit A and bypass that menu. Well not bypass, you uh, go through that menu. So now I'm going to show you what happens if you just approach this bridge. Now, here you see Lutiku. If I do it at a fair enough speed, that's about seven seconds that passes, and then I can run again. Now, there's a few tr things I like people to understand about menus. Menus, if I was to just run in and then continue, I would uh, run as if I was, I'd exit talking to Latiku as if I uh, uh, was from a stationary position and then started running. But you see how that time I landed in a jump, I had momentum. So now when I exit, I'll start running a lot faster, you see? Now that's important because I'm probably going to end up showing you this anyway. I'm going to teach you how to do a Latiku skip, and that information is quite important, not only here, but in several parts of the game and other runs. So I'm going to attempt to show you two variations of the Latiku skip that I can do, one of which I haven't done in a long time, and that's the first one I'm going to show you, so I really hope I can uh, <laughs> do this. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to go over to the direction. If you look on the hill where the arch of the hallway of the castle hits the hill, the right side, that's the direction I want to head. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to long jump twice. Now in that second long jump I'm actually going to change my camera and zoom out, see down. So because I'm not moving, it changed back. And I'm going to be running directly this way. And you're going to long jump. And you want to long jump along the very edge. I'm not sure about the pixel distance of which you have to land on. But if you land too far, this is what happens. The tick is here and he starts talking. Generally, if you're a less experienced speedrunner and your time is anything about 30 minutes or above, 25 minutes or above, then landing on this isn't a problem because generally you'll have momentum. And if you've got momentum, you can just dive jump and land on the left side of the door. Uh, always go through the left side of the door. You, I'll get to that in a minute. Now, I'll, I'll attempt this at full speed now. So it's one, two... And I've already made a mistake, I'm sorry. One, two... There we go. It was a bit dodgy, but I did it, and I went inside. So that's that. That's the first one. That one is slower if you do it perfect. And when I say perfect, Mario... Uh, when he long jumps, you see the dust underneath of him? If you do it properly, and pixel perfect, which is quite difficult to do, frame perfect, sorry, you can actually land without dust appearing, and that's called dustless. You can do it with others. You see there, I made dust appear. But if you do it right, you can make it not appear, like this. Not like that, sorry. Like that. Yeah, it's difficult. Anyway, so this next skip is performed a little differently. So the way I was, uh, I learned to do it was you, s you exit this uh, text menu and you start running and you do a, I'm going to call it a, a mini jump kick. I'm not too f fond of accuracy in names, but the way it's performed is you've got your normal jump if you hold A and you've got your attack punch button. If you, so this is A, this is B. If you A, B at the same time, you do a kick jump, and it's really small, and it preserves a lot of momentum. So it's used in speedruns where 
Ooh. I can't do it. Where you, a lot of experienced uh, runners actually use this to conserve their momentum when they're doing a lot of more, a, a lot more difficult techniques, of which I haven't learned yet. So what you're going to do is you're going to run over this way, and you're going to kick and move slightly to the right. Next, you're going to long jump uh, twice, I believe. So it'll look like... And you're going to zoom out. So it's going to be three times, and you're just going to land on the edge, which is a lot more difficult than the other one. But it is faster if performed properly. Now, that was something I was hoping would happen, actually. Uh, I'm going to go over there and show you. This lip here, there's a diagonal lip. Here is flat, and now here is an angle. If you land uh, in an awkward spot, Mario will lose his momentum. Uh, not momentum, sorry. He will lose... Uh, uh, I don't know. Something. And what will happen is, rather than being able to continuously... Uh, long jump, rather than being able to long jump continuously, it'll change the way Mario's movement is uh, seen, and he will just normally jump rather than long jump. So, the Latigo skip, if I do it properly, is like that. There we go. Now, you go through the left door and instantly Mario cam and rotate the camera. The reason is so that while this text box appears, I am in this angle because you can see the door just off to the side, the first door to Bomb on Battlefield is in view. And from here, I can actually run directly at it and long jump. Now, from here, you can either long jump or long jump up here and go into the door. And sorry, I forgot to make a save state, so this is going to be a bit difficult for me. Or what you can do is you can long jump and not do that. Sorry, I'll just go through the door again. I didn't make a save state. I'm sorry. So you end up going through this door. And the more advanced way, which I use in my runs, is you long jump and then dive jump. And generally you hit that rail and Mar Mario will bounce off that rail and land on his feet a lot of the time. And then you just run straight through the door. Now in this room, you want to do an instant long jump, long jump. And you just go straight forward. Nothing changes. So now, I will... Save state. Okay. Now when you come into this world, you want to, you want to instantly change the camera to be in this view. Uh, then the next thing you want to do, is you want to long, long jump twice in the direction of the pink bomb -omb but in front of the, I don't know, circular-ish concrete material, such as here. And then you want to dive jump, dive jump. You see how I said dustless strats? So you want to dive jump, dive jump. You want to, I aim for this coin a lot of the time when I do my actual... Uh, you do your dive jump, dive jump, and then you do your long jump, and I usually collect that coin. That was bad, I'm sorry. So you do three dive jumps, and then you do your long jump over here. That was bad. And while you're mid long jump, you want to uh, zoom out, uh, uh, see down, so that you've got this angle. Now this trick, uh, the first trick is actually the harder trick I'm going to show you first. It's called uh, bomb clipping. Now what bomb clipping does is it uses the bomb on's momentum as an advantage point to clip through this very thin wall. And I'm going to show you what it looks like first, so you understand what I'm talking about. So you go one, two, hopefully I do it. What did I get? Oh, wow. So you come over here, you collect the bomb on. And bam, you're through. And now I can collect the star. Without missing it. Now, this is a very difficult trick at first. A lot of people make mistakes doing it, and I'm going to give you just a few pointers on how it's performed, and I just keep messing up that second jump. So what you're going to do is you're going to approach this bomb, and you're going to uh, B, pick it up. You're going to punch it, but it'll pick it up. Then what you're going to, after you've picked it up, it's quite difficult and takes a lot of practice. A lot of people use two jumps, like one, two, like such, but it really doesn't matter. I prefer one. It's just my personal preference. I've used both in the past, but I prefer one. Whichever it is you choose, 
You want to land just so that he is on a specific side of you, depending on the direction. So I want to move towards this gate. So I want the bomb bomb to be this side of me. So in front of Mario now. So, for example, if the sign is the bomb, I want it to be like this. So, that's a little bit tricky on its own, and I advise you go practice just that. You can practice with the bomb bombs down here, actually. So, bam. Now, it will take practice, and depending on your person and your control scheme, your uh, layout of your controller, all sorts of things come into factor, it will vary on how you perform the glitch, and whether you use one jump or two. I prefer one jump only because using two jumps changes the uh, distance I travel, and I don't like the long distance. Now, this is the hard part. You want to not do that for one. When you throw the... Okay, well then. When you throw the bomb on, you want to jump at the same time. So you pick it up, and you instantly run your direction, which is over here. Then an, it's jump and throw in midair. So you can throw a bomb on in midair, like such. The, what, the trick you want to do is similar to the mini kick jump I showed you before, like this. That's exactly what you want to do. Like that. That's all you need to do. Then, once you've learned to have him on the side, you want to instantly turn towards it and punch him again. Then you come over here. Now this, I'm glad this happened so I can show you what happens. You see how Mario is kind of pointed towards the corner? Well, that's a mistake. He needs to be almost perfectly perpendicular like this. Oh, that's even not perpendicular, but you need to be perpendicular to this grate, which isn't exactly easy. It takes you a few attempts to get used to it, but once you do it, it's easy. Perpendicular just means you're at 90 degrees to it, which means my back is dead straight flat to that wall. So, once you do do it, though, it's as easy as... Okay, now that, that's the one mistake I made. That's why I, you see how I did two jumps? That's why I do one jump, because I, I had a tendency to jump too far. Now, again, it's all up to preference. And don't hit that wall. Now, when you uh, land and you want to punt, uh, you grab, what you want to do is you want to be facing sort of like this, so that the back of your, your back is towards the slope here because the bomb arm will push you along this slope into this corner as such. So, it should... I'll try with two jumps again, and it's not going to work. Okay, I'm not going to do it with two jumps anymore. I'm going to do it from the start of the level, because my camera's all mucked up. Now, if you miss that, you can recover. You just walk over to that wall I keep kicking off, or you can go up towards the slope over there. So you want to grab it, you just want to come up here and get in here. Now, there's something I've neglected to tell you, and that is timing on grabbing the bomb on. Grabbing it too late will result in a... I guess it's a cloning glitch. I'm not too sure. I haven't played around with it too much. I know someone else has discovered it, but I've been playing around and I found it myself. And, okay, you see how I grabbed it? I grabbed it just before the explosion frame, and so I had a really fast uh, backwards speed. Now, I'm trying to show you what happens if you pick it up just on or after the explosion. I missed it, which is the cloning thing I was talking about. And that is really annoying. I've actually done it a few times in a few runs, and I tell you what, it is not fun. There we go, okay. So what I've done is I've picked, I've attacked it and picked it up. I think it's either on the frame of exploding or the frame after it explodes. And uh, as you can see, this is what happens. And you can use this in a reality to do quite a few glitches. Um, there is a YouTuber named Sonic Packer. I, I believe it's Sonic Packer or Sonic Parker. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Uh, he did a video on this where he got into caves list. he did uh, he got into bomb on oh, bomb on this cage here 
without using the A button, and it was quite interesting. Okay, so that's how you do the bomb clip. Then, if you miss the bomb clip, I would advise you, depending on your time, you would either reset, you try again, or you just do this. It's called, you know, pole of shame, as the speedrunners call it. And all you do is you land on top of it and you ground pound. And, and then that'll activate this cutscene, which takes a lot longer than uh, than bomb clip. Now there's one more version that's not as fast as... Uh, it's kind of in between of these two, depending on how well you do it. Uh, it's really silly. It's called box clip. Now what you do is you come over here and you grab this box and you jump your merry old way over to the cage. Now I'm hoping I can do this first go. I used to actually do this myself just because I could. Now avoid the chain chomp because he will attack you. And you want to get over to this corner. Now you want to be such that Mario is in the corner as such. And then you're going to do is crouch. And you see how I'm in the wall? Now I'm going to crawl forward towards the gate and not do that. So I'm going to be in here. There we go. Now I'm on the inside. That's box clip. And if done fast enough, either you'll destroy the box or you'll do that. There we go. That's what happens if you do it wrong. Okay, so that's the first star of the game. Now I'm going to do it full speed just so you guys can see what it looks like in action. There we go. That's the first star. This is one of the most, uh, the more difficult tricks of the game. Uh, there are th three or four glitches that need to be performed for 16 star, which makes it such a hellhole of a run to do. But it really pays off the more you practice. I have probably put several hours of practice just into this glitch alone. Okay, so that's the first star. Now, after that, you'll approach the save menu, which happens every time you collect a star and exit the world. Uh, and then you'll get this text appear, and you just cycle through that three times. Now, before the camera changes like this, you're just going to run towards the door and long jump. That'll take some practice. Now, you see the crease of the wall behind Mario, where the two walls connect? I'm going to run perpendicular to that like this, and just long jump once, and dive jump over here without the kick. So I'll show you that in action again. I'll just do this. So you're going to go through the door, and you're going to go one. And that wasn't too perfect, but it's still pretty good. The closer you land towards the door, the better. You want to try not to hit the wall to the left or the stairs. Uh, I've done that before. Or just go too wide and miss the door completely. But it's okay if you do. It doesn't lose that much time. So you open the door and you come through. And then what you're going to do is you're going to run slightly. And then long jump once. And then long jump twice once you hit the floor. If you long jump too quickly, you'll actually hit that railing and get stuck behind it. Okay. Now it's time for this level. I'm going to do a save state. Okay, the first star I do is cannonless, and the reason being is if you make a mistake, which I will do on purpose, uh, you can do a backup star for the less experienced. But once you get to a high enough time, you are not. There's no point doing it. Now there's two ways to get up here, as such, like this, and you want to go over here without headbutting it, and you end up over here. That's simple. Or there's a more complicated way, which really takes practice, and I'm pretty sure I do it wrong, but it works for me, and I guess that's all that matters. That tree will take practice, and you want to just get up here like that. Uh, the way I time that is you want to be running, and you want to have that momentum from this tree. So you land on it, and you're in this view. You want to hold left slightly so that you come over here, otherwise you'll land here. You want to hold left and forward at that 45 degree to the right. Sorry, not left, I'll hold right and forward, my bad. And you'll land here, and then you'll have momentum to run up this uh, hill. Now, there are actually arrows here, but the draw distance changes for the camera. Now, when I'm about here, 
a change to go this direction. So, that will look like... And then you just long jump up there. Or, yeah, dive jump up here. Now, there's different variations of Cannonless. Now, I highly, highly recommend learning Cannonless for a 16 star. It's a must do. Now, there are different versions of this, and I'm actually going to only show you one way because I only know one way. And I will have to say, you will have to do your own research on Super Mario 16. Uh, Super Mario 64 Cannonless. Just write that. There are two tutorials all over YouTube. The one I use is a little bit more of a difficult one, but it's not too bad. It, the better you get at it, it's actually a lot faster than the other ways. Now you see how I've positioned Mario such that my feet are... Uh, I am... one. Okay, let me take a step back. You appear here after you cross this bridge, and you're zoomed out in this C-down position got this camera view. It's best if you have one like this. Now what I'm going to do is align Mario's feet such that he's rightmost of this bridge. His left foot should be just behind the line and his right foot should be just above the line. If you spend too much time on this you'll be losing time and I'm hoping this is, the, is perfect. Now, if not then I'll just show you the backup star. Uh, no, I won't actually. I'll show that you next. Show you that next. So once you're here, what you're going to do is you're going to rotate the camera once this way, and you're going to walk to the edge slowly. You're going to rotate it again using the same button. And now this is the tricky part. I didn't. I wasn't told. You want to hold it up, and that'll make Mario climb, and then instantly hold back. And there's a reason for that. And I will do a safe state so I can show you why that is. Now if I do it and don't hold down. This is what happens. But, if I hold down instantly, this is what happens. Bam, you've just performed cannonless. That's as easy as it gets, and I think my fastest setup for that, to get my foot on that stupid line, was probably just under a second. I just landed on it, and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go for it. And I did, and I got it first go. Okay, now the next one is the backup star. So if you go for your cannonless and you miss, then you go for this star, and then you do cannonless the next time. You go up and attempt it again. But if you're experienced enough to be at the 25 minute mark or below, then you really just want to reset. Now, if you've got cannonless, then you do this star next. Now, what you want to do is you jump over this direction. Now, that trick alone to get over here is very iffy. I had a lot of trouble doing it. So the way it's performed is you long jump towards this tree, and you climb up, and as you're climbing, you want to change the camera like this, but kind of at the last minute. And that was bad because I had it rotated wrong. That will take practice, and I advise you just go play around with it yourself. Now you come over this direction, and again, depending on when you land, depends on how you're going to do it. Uh, be careful of this ledge. You will dive into it a few times, I can guarantee it. Then you come over here, and you just long jump a few times. Dive jump, one more. I come over this side because I'll show you why. Not like that. Up here's the star. You can do it this side, but I don't see many people do it. In my opinion, I think it takes a little bit longer. But this is where the star is. So I will. Did I make a save state? No, okay, so I'll just do this really quick and I'll go back and show you what that star looks like at full speed. Okay, so I've just gotten cannonless, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go do that star as if I was going full speed. Hopefully, I don't headbutt the wall like a little silly person. Okay, so you long jump towards this tree, you climb up, and you don't do that. That's a mistake I should have pointed out as well. If you push AB like a jump kick, which is the way you do it, by the way, then you will just grab the tree straight away, and you'll look silly. So you come over here, depending on where you are, depends on what you do. See that? I headbutted it. Luckily I didn't uh, lose too much time. And I missed. Oh well. Doesn't matter. That'll take practice. I, I'm not too sure on how to explain to do that. To do a backwards jump, what you do is you run Mario direction, and then you move the analog stick to the other direction. Now that'll do this sliding pattern. 
then instantly you just press A and you get up here. Then you just jump and you collect your prize. That is the quickest star in this level, probably in the entire run. And it is probably, it is the easiest as well, it's just... Now you want to go back in, we've got to get a few more stars for this level. The next two stars are a little tricky to get to for beginners. The way you do it is you just come up here. Now you use two dive jumps up here. Then you're going to run up this way. Now there's two different ways to do this. And a... I guess you could say three ways. Now the first way is just triple jump and land up there where I hit. And the reason you're doing that is you're going to kick off that wall and do what I'm about to do. Which is not bad, I'm sorry. And land up here. And then you're just going to jump across. Now if you miss like I did, then what you can do is you can do the same sort of thing you did for the last star, and you can land up there too, but I miss a lot, so I try not to to uh, miss in general. Anyway, and then the next one, which is the way I do, is you see this uh, slope over here? One, two, three, and you usually dive jump up there, but that I did, I actually did it on purpose to show you, that is the only problem with this way. Uh, you can headbutt that and just fall down and give up on life. Another problem with it is sometimes you'll clip through and end over this side and you have to get the elevator up and that wastes a lot of time as well. Okay, so you're up to your first boss of the... well I guess you can call him boss of the run. Now there's a few tricks to doing this and I'm going to show you how to do it. You see that? You just ground pound. You ground pound right through it. Or you don't because you're a silly person. And you miss. Because again, you're a silly person. And I wasn't paying attention too well, so I missed this star. Now when you speed run this, what you want to do is you actually want to land right here. You want to be ground pounding on this spot when you do your final blow. That way, you'll be in the air when the star spawns and you'll instantly collect it. So I'm just going to get it and I'm going to do the entire level again just to show you how it's performed. Okay. So that is... That is a difficult star, I will admit. Even I have trouble doing it. A lot of people do have trouble. It's just memorizing where the star actually appears and... I would be lying if I say I get it more than... I don't. I never get it. Oh, I'm sorry, I chose the wrong star. Well... Okay, this is the next star. <laughs> okay, well, I guess you get the point for the last one. So, what, as I, you just saw, I'm going to run up here, and I'm just going to go this direction here. Avoid... Bullet bill. Now, there's several ways to get up here. I like to do it in a C down, and it's just like the backwards wall jump star you did before. It's easy as that. Easy as that. When I first, I, before I even thought about learning it that way, I actually used to come up here and then do it this way. But a lot of the time I would miss and, you know, I just found the other way easier. Then you just, you would t learn to time when to jump up here and you'll find your own ways. But then you just come up here and collect a star. I hope that explains it enough. So that's the second last star for that level. This last star is... Probably the easiest, apart from the uh, into the blue, uh, what's it called? Shoot into the wild blue. Okay, so this one is called uh, something. I don't know. It's the owl, as people call it. Now, the way you do this is you're going to, uh, I said attack, you're going to land on this tree, to climb to the top, and you're going to wall kick off that wall, so you land around in front of it. That way, you can just jump and not miss like I did, and you can actually grab the bird, but I jumped too far and I missed the bird. Then, this again takes practice, you need to turn it such that you're on top of this star, and you're gonna let go. Now that, I was so glad that happened. Uh, I was scared it wouldn't happen. That is the one problem I have with the bird, where you let go and he actually pushes you away from where you're trying to land. So, a lot of things people do is as soon as they let go, they 
crouch, which in the air does a ground pound. And that re that removes the angle of which Mario is traveling and it will make him move straight down. It does take a little longer to hit the ground, but on the other hand, you know, if you land on it, it doesn't really matter. It's like not even half a second. I've hardly ever missed that cage and you know, it's really easy. Okay, so now getting out of this room can be annoying. I'm gonna do a save state. So the way you do it, one, two, three, and not hit this wall. Not do that. It's simply kick jump, jump, dive, and you want to jump again quicker than I did, and you'll end up going over the stairs. If you dive onto the stairs, then that'll make Mario fall over and have a whole world hurt. Now you exit here and you do a long jump towards the center and you walk around and you actually dive jump over here. So that look a little like this. So you go one, a little like that. That was a bit off, but you get the idea. This world is an easy world. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do this. Uh, there are different ways I was told to do it, but you get there. Even I have trouble with this one, though. Uh, the wall jumps are not my thing. Okay, so the first one I do, you get rid of this text. Now, remember this technique? Well, you're going to run over this direction, kick jump, and then jump as soon as you hit the ground, and bang. That takes a bit of practice. All about timing. What you want to do is you want to hold directly not directly down, but away from the world, so that you clip, you pass this edge. I'll show you the edge I'm talking about. So you want to pass the edge without hitting it. That ledge there, and you hold directly back, and you kick. And that'll land you here. Then all you have to do is dive. Now you can either backwards flip like this, or if you want to be a little cool person, then what you can do is not hit that wall, because that takes away time, but you can fail like me and never be famous. See? Never famous. But no. Wall jump. It's somewhat faster. Now this is the tricky part. This is why I say I hate wall jumps. What you want to do from here is you want to do this. And try and land on the star. I have no idea how I'm going to explain this to you to be honest. You're kind of this distance from the thing, and you just want to... When I say thing, I mean from this edge here. You want to come up here, and you want to just wall jump. And you'll hit those icicles there. And you're going to wall jump off those icicles. It takes practice. Let's just put it that way. Then you just go up there and collect the star. Trust me, I've done it as bad as I've landed on that little strip of ice just there. And I've had to freaking balance myself across. And it still works. As long as you don't miss it ten times in a row, then you're usually fine. Okay, the next star is a lot more troublesome for beginners. Now, you have to get up top, up where that penguin was if you saw it. And the way you do that is you just jump, jump, and you want to triple jump there, which I can't do because I am talking and I can't concentrate when I talk. The one problem you have with this, which takes a lot of practice to do, is you usually hit that wall and you land inside of the slide down there. And if you do that, you just reset because there's no point doing anything. Now what you want to do, this is the hard part, and luckily for me, he got stuck. I'm going to pick up this penguin. Now there's been times where I've jumped off the edge and I've missed and I've had him stick to that wall and I've had to exit the level and come back and quit the run and all sorts of problems. Good luck. You have to figure that out on your own, I guess. Okay, now what you do is once you picked it up, you want to kind of jump and hit this edge like that so you slide down. Because if you don't hit that edge, something's going to happen which takes longer. You'll see what I mean. So you want to come up here, and that's the problem I was talking about where you hit the edge. Stand still, penguin. Thank you. Now, if you jump too, uh, too far, you deal with this problem where you have to wait for him to go down. Next up, you do this. No button inputs. Just avoid that wall to the left. No button inputs. You do not need to jump at all. He jumps by himself. Just don't jump too far, because if you jump too far, what'll happen is... 
uh, there is a wind, and I will pick you up, and I'll do a save state. So you want to go over here, click this. If you go too far, this is what happens. Not always we fall off the edge, but the wind does pick you up. Similarly, you don't have to jump. But, but if you're too close, then again, what you do is you end up hitting either this or that wall, and you end up losing the penguin regardless and have to reset the entire run. The optimal way is kind of in the middle, under the bridge, and you just want to come down, decelerate, and hit mama. Simple. Star is there, you automatically drop, and you just want to long jump into the star. That's that level done. Now you're up to Bowser in the Dark World. Now I'm going to show you the basic layout of the course and different ways to do it. I'm probably going to spend a bit of time on that. Because I, yes, it's a difficult level. It's probably the hardest in the entire run. Now again, it's just like last time almost. You want to do that thing I did. You'll find your own way. Doesn't matter. Now here is a trick I do, I don't know if anyone else does it. What we want to do is you want to backflip up here and bam. If you do it and you're like me and you go, ha, oh no, bam, simples. Okay, so you walk into this door, you activate the star, you have to have eight stars by this point. You open the door and then as simple as long jump, dive jump. All you have to worry about. Now I'm going to save. Now there's different ways of doing this. I'm going to show you the basic layout of the level. So you've got this plank here. It's a really annoying plank because of that reason. And all the rest of it. Now there's fire here. This button just activates. I'll show you what the button does. If I can. Not do that. I was trying to avoid. Damn it. Fire, go away. All that does is activate this and one over at the beginning so you can get those red coins. We're not doing red coins. Uh, because red coins is a lot more difficult and more of a pro route. And I'm not showing you pro route, I'm showing you intermediate, I guess, <coughs> level. Now, what you would do if you do it is you want to come up here and avoid the fire. And it's a lot more precision controlled because you want to come over here and you want to get that red coin which I absolutely missed and then go back and get that red coin but as I said it's difficult and I don't like it but hence I'm teaching you this way now you've got these little spinny dudes here and you've got this slide what you want to do with this slide is jump and then do your double jump on it and land up here you see this wall this is a really annoying wall you're going to love it because when you get better you don't do it that way, I already made a mistake. You, well, I've already made a mistake, okay, forget that. What you want to do is you want to wall jump like this onto here, and you just go boop, ow! Now you got Goombas here, they kind of spawn randomly. They're a lot of the time in this position, and you run into them like an idiot. I hate them. This bridge here. Don't be scared of falling off, because I used to be. When you get better and you get more comfortable, what you do is you get about here, you change your camera and you long jump through that, this here. It will take a lot of practice. Then what you want to do is you can either take it slow, or you can just dive jump over these gaps and miss like a special person. Let me just get back. I've already done that wrong, but it's all good. I can't even do my own. Oh wow, I'm glad I missed him. I didn't change my camera. I'm not concentrating. Okay, so just be careful with this. Again, once you get to this point, you've got these this bit here. So what you want to do is, as you get better, is you want to run up here, just hug it, long jump, and then you can long jump this way, or you can go this way if you're a little bit uh, more experienced. I don't go that way. I go this way. What you want to do is you long jump up here without grabbing the ledge. You just long jump here again. And you go here, you can go many ways, you can just go like this, or if I can get back, which I can't, and I'm going to do a save state once I get that far, uh, there's another way which I do, which you can see on my channel, it's my first video. Oh. Hey. Okay. 
so you come up here. Oops. Okay. And the way I... God damn it. Okay, welcome to the world of speedrunning, everyone. And that was horrible. I let go of my handbox stick by accident. Well, I'm getting practice, I guess. Wish I had editing software. Oh my goodness. I'm sorry. Wish I had editing software because I would cut all this out. And I didn't long jump. Okay, that's all good. You know, I'm gonna save before I forget. Now, if you land here while these are in this position, what you can do is you can land not like that. So if you land while it's in this position, you can kind of come up here and do that and land there, which I missed. So it will look not like that. I did the wrong technique again. My bad, everyone. And kind of like that, and you just jump onto that platform out of a roll, but I'm not going to do that anymore. Not in the mood. So what you want to do is you just want to make your way over here, however it is you do it. Ignore the Goomba, and you want to come over here. Now you do a double jump to land up here, and then one, two, triple jump. And then you just want to jump, double jump, or not double jump, that works too. Please, you're embarrassing me. So you want to, one, two, and then bam. And that's Bowser in the Dark World. So, if I was to show you what that looked like when I do it, it would look a little different because oh, we'll see. Let's see if I can do it or not. Okay, well I'm not doing it. Okay, now that's another trick I didn't explain. Uh, another way of getting up here is if you make a mistake is jump, hold A, and press B. It's a kick jump to get up some slopes. Anyway, looks like I'm not doing uh not showing you how to do it. I hate this bridge. Well that was lucky. Haha, <laughs> I tricked you. And I'm gonna take it slow because I always fall off here. One, two, one, two, boop -a doop. Come up here. And now this kick jump does not work here. There are other ways to get up there, but, you know, you just do that triple jump I showed you, or if you're a little bit more experienced, you can do a technique which I just did wrong. And what you want to do is you want to do your first jump off here, so you want to jump, land on the purple, but what you have to do is you actually have to jump just as you are about to walk off this edge, so you get the distance you need, and you need speed as well. And it looks like that. And you just enter the pipe, and perfection. If you're better than me. Which isn't hard. Okay, so Bowser. Bowser is annoying as hell. He is so difficult for a beginner, I can't even explain how much frustration this dude has caused me. Fairly simple bo boss, though. So what you want to do is you want to run around him, grab his tail. Then find a bomb and just rotate your analog stick to get his speed up. Now, what I do is I try to have my... Once I get his momentum up, I try to have my analog stick match his direction so that I can predict where he's going to land. Rather than going one, two, three. And the reason I hate people who doing that is because 1, 2, 3 is good if you have a constant speed, but Bowser's always increasing speed as you rotate, so it's actually 1, 2, 3, rather than 1, 2, 3. Hence, I say, predict where he's going to be with your joystick. But once you've hit him on the bomb, he will disappear. If you throw him off the edge, he will bounce back and cause shockwaves and make your life a living misery. I advise you play around with Bowser on your own to figure out just what he does in each level. Each level he has different attacks, so it's kind of take some practice to do. Okay, now that you've exited Bowser's level, you're back here, and all you have to do is long jump, long jump, and not hit the door. Probably decelerate a little bit. Then you want to jump up and fall straight down, down here. Now there's a little trick you can do here, is you walk off this edge here, 
But as you do, it needs to be a little bit of a dive, and I'll show you what I mean. It'll take practice, and even I screw it up all the time. Like that. That's the fastest way to get down. It wasn't too good, but you get the picture. Okay, now you're downstairs. This is the downstairs area. From here, you want to long jump over this direction, and just dive towards the door here. Then you want to long jump, dive jump, dive jump, which I missed. Dive jump again this way, dive jump, into this wall. This is your next level. This level should be the level you go to first. It is faster to go this way, albeit it might only be a little bit, but it is faster. Okay. From here, you're in a very annoying level, to be honest. What you want to do... Go here, long jump towards this direction, and I'm showing you what to do. Oh my god, I'm sorry about that lag, everyone. Go here. And I missed the star, but that's okay. That's how you do that. Now I'm going to show you how to do it. Uh, this is an annoying star. I hate this, I miss it so much. So as I said, you go over to this area, and you walk over, and you just jump, jump. The faster... Now, if you can do cloudless, that is best, because otherwise, this sand decelerates you. You see? But if you do cloudless, then it doesn't do it near as much. Now, there's other ways to do it, but I find this way the easiest, so I'm just going to show you this way. As I said, you can always YouTube other ways, and I'm sure there's ways you prefer. Then you want to long jump just as you hit there, decelerate... And then do this. Again, that's the best you can do. I learnt this other trick where to hit that shy guy, you rotate your thumbstick, but it's all practice. Sometimes you rotate it twice in a counterclockwise direction, and that'll decelerate you just enough. But I found if you, once you go up that pillar, like this, if you crouch just as you're about to go over the lip, or just as you go over the lip, I should say, like right. So the equivalent would be right here, and then do it, you'll have more than enough time to actually land on the shy guy. If you mess up getting over that first sand dune, you might as well either do the second star of this level, or reset by dying. Don't exit the level because that'll take you back to the lobby and it takes longer than dying. Okay, now you're up to the second star. The second star is... Somewhat easier. It's still a nuisance to some extent, but it is not too difficult once you get your practice in. So I'm going to do a save state again. Okay, I'm going to show you how to uh, what it looks like if I can actually. No, I can't do it. Okay, let me see. This is why I say it's a nuisance. Okay, and I almost fell off the edge. It's okay. Well, there's the star, anyway. That's the star you want. Now, to do it, it's, as I said, it's really annoying, and it takes practice, and I haven't practiced this enough. You see this black stripe? You probably want to land probably about here, and you want to do your little kick jump, because that is a jump, and you can go straight into your second jump. So you want to go into here and do your second jump on the mountain. So it would be one, two, and then you want to long jump up here and not slide backwards. You're going to get really frustrated with this, don't you worry. So it's one, two, three, and that's another problem you can have. I'm actually really glad that happened. Okay, so one, two, and miss. There we go, made it. Now you want to jump, jump, and now... Uh, I'm sorry. Let me show you what... There's two different ways to do this. So you can go one, two, and then up here. Or, let's say you end up hugging this lip. You just dive and collect it. Or the more faster way, which I've seen a lot of Taz runners do. Taz being a tool assisted speedrun. I would advise you to look them up. They're very entertaining. Is they go one, two, and I've missed it. Okay, so what they do is they come up the side and then they just kind of walk off the side onto the platform and just land there. It's harder to do, but it's quicker because you don't have to jump over that lip. 
you just kind of walk onto it. Okay, so that's that one done, and uh, it's annoying. Trust me, I've made so many mistakes in speedruns, I hate it. So from here, you want a long jump, and this is where it gets hard. You want to run, and you want to dive jump just onto this left corner. Don't hit that fire up the top. Now it's time for my favorite coins. Actually, I would actually say this is probably the easiest one once you get good at it, but it is really difficult for beginners. So I'm going to show you the easiest way to do it, in my opinion. And probably the fastest, too. So you're going to get this text, you ignore it, you run over here, and you long jump into the lava, and you come up here. Then you're going to bounce three times, and you just hold forwards, and you one, two, three, and you collect it this way. But I'm going to show you it at full speed, so you actually see the technique of what it is you have to do. So you're going to go one, I'm going to let go of the analog stick for a sec, and then pick it up, probably after the first bounce. I'm going to do these dive jumps, so I can get faster, and I missed that coin, and normally you would get the star here. But because I'm a silly person, I missed, so I'll probably do that again just to show you. Because you really need to see what I mean when I say you land on the star. So... That was perfect. And I had Dustless there at the end too, which is really good. And then bam, you land straight onto it. I don't really have to do much explaining for that one, it's kind of practice. You just do one long jump per rotation of coins. So, for, per each column. So I actually don't even have to show you that again, really. It's that alone just takes practice. For beginners, I advise not doing long jump, dive jumps. Just get used to the S moment motion of collecting the stars and you'll be fine. From here, you want to long jump without hitting that fire, just up to this door, and straight down into this world here. Hazy Maze Cave. Now this is another annoying level. Now there's different ways of doing it. So, what you want to do is you want to rotate the camera, because normally it's like this, so you're going to rotate it this way, and the best way to do it is just long jump, long jump, decelerate a little, and long jump again. If you get dustless, there is a quicker way to do it, but it's only by a few pixels. You come straight off, and I didn't get dustless there, so it's really about the same speed. Okay, now the first one I'm going to show you, you can do these really in any order, it doesn't matter. Is you come over here, and hope for good RNG, because those things are annoying, and I just ran into them twice like an idiot. You avoid them, one, okay. Thank you very much, you stupid rocks. Okay, so if you missed it like I did, then you come over here and you just backflip. Wow. Rude. Rude. Thank you. Backflip up. Oh my goodness. And there's a star there. But I'll show you what it is at full speed, assuming I don't run into any stupid rocks. There we go. There's the dustless. That's how you do it. Okay, and then you come over here like so. And... Come on, please, thank you. And then the other way to get it is by doing it this way. And that is actually a lot quicker, but it, it, it involves having momentum and good RNG for the rocks. Now, after you've done your first star, regardless of which star it is, Toad in the corner over there will appear. And what he does is... So, the, to talk to Toad, hold forward and then press punch, because otherwise you just punch and you look silly. Anyway, you just... Bam, A, and get through that, and he gives you a star. Collect the star, and there's actually other strats you can do to get this star faster and get into the next, into the level quickly, but I can't do them, and I, you don't need them. Then you just do this, or get in here however you want. It doesn't really matter, it doesn't take that much time. I would probably advise just walking straight into it, don't jump. It doesn't really matter. Now I'm going to show you a, another, oh wow, I'm going to show you another glitch. This is an easy glitch, anyone can do this one. The hard glitches haven't even happened yet, oh my goodness. That was nasty. Okay, this is called the elevator glitch. There's many ways to do this, a lot of faster ways, but they are extremely difficult. I'm going to show you it really quickly. Yeah, and I didn't do a save state, so... I'm just going to do it, and I missed. Okay, well, you know what? I'm just going to show you it. So if you miss, you just walk off and do this. Now, you see this little zigzag pattern here? I want to be just to the left of this. So I'm at the corner of the elevator, and I'm going to hold against the wall, but move to the right. And that will clip me through the wall. 
and that is literally it. You just push up against the wall and move to the right. And as long as you're on that corner, you will clip through and get him. Easy as. The next star is a little bit more difficult, but it's not too hard. So, the way you do it is as such. You wanna one, two, jump up here and land up on that top platform there. You can either double jump the way I did, but better, or you can come from this direction and do a backwards flip and get up. Then, it's just over there and it's just a simple long jump. So at full speed, from coming out of the door, I will go in and out of the door and show you at full speed the way I do it. It's one, two, three, and then long jump, and I almost missed. My heart kind of skipped a beat there. And that's that. And that is that level done. Now I'm going to show you again a bit of a quick trick, and I should have done my save state after this saving sequence. Doesn't matter. Is one, two, and I did that wrong. I'm sorry. That's the quickest way. But I highly advise just walking around because you will fall through. Next up is MIPS. You will find your own way to collect MIPS, but most likely you're going to do what I did and just miss. Now here, he is going to run from this left side to the right side and then up towards me. To collect him, again, you're going to need practice and figure out how he moves, so play around with him for a bit and understand how he moves. He follows a path, he doesn't free roam. Then I'm going to run this way, and dive this down, and let him roll. And normally, he will run right into my hands, but I did it a bit too far, so I missed. So I will show you how I collect him. So I usually walk around because I don't like jumping over, I always fall into the goddamn world. Oh, the wall! Okay. I'm not going to show you. Normally I collect him here just from dive jumps and things. If you watch other people speedrun, you'll pick up on things, don't you worry. So what you want to do is you want to this way. And just hold left slightly. Okay. Now this is probably the most frustrating thing for me. This is called the MIPS clip. Also, don't collect that star. You don't need it. Otherwise you'll end up with 17 at the end rather than 16 stars. Now here is the most annoying trick. You need MIPS to get into the next Bowser world, because normally you need 30 stars. But, you can do it with less. So, what you need to do is you need to come up to this corner of the door, to the point such that if you're zoomed out... There we go. Yeah, you can't see it in my version. I'm sorry, normally his shadow would disappear. But my console's not... Sh my uh, emulator's not showing it. And then what you want to do is you just want to drop him by pressing B. Do not crouch. I've had a lot more trouble crouching than pressing B. Then you want to crouch and turn around and then punch. Now what a lot of people do is they look this way and drop him and then go through the door and pick him up. All you can do is walk towards the camera and just jump. It pushes both of you through and it's a lot quicker. And not many people know that trick to be honest. Now this door is a lot easier in my opinion. And actually I'm going to show you another trick you can do with MIPS. Uh, you know, I won't be able to get him through again, so I'll just do it this way. If you're having trouble doing it that way, which a lot of people will, including myself, I don't often do it that way in my speedruns, because I just keep missing, and I don't clip through, and then when I do clip through, I don't grab him, and all... Are you kidding me right now? Well, rude. I missed him twice now. Uh, three times, actually. Okay, so this next trick is... <laughs> I call it the brutal... Brutal strats. It doesn't really matter what you call it, to be honest. Still MIPS clip. So the way you do this one, it's a little longer if sometimes, is you want to place him directly in front of the door. And the way I was taught, it doesn't matter as long as you've got momentum, is come up here, line him up, run and dive into him. And as you saw, I failed. What normally happens is, not that, let me recenter him. Because that'll cause problems. Okay. Oops. Almost collected that star, that would have been bad. So you want to run and dive. Now you see if he's clipped through the door. Then I can walk through the door, turn around, punch, punch, punch. And I pick him up. That's the other way to get mixed through the door. And I tell you what, it is annoying. Now I'm going to save here because you can make a mistake. 
This door can be a little bit more trolly. Um, you can actually place MIPS through the door, and if you do that, you have to reset the entire run, and it's really annoying. So what you, the, the, there's different ways to do this. You can either walk towards, and then wait for Mario to boop, and then pop yourself through. Now you're on the other door. That's that's it. That's all you do. There's quick ways to do it, but it's all the same principle. You want to end up in that little clip where you end up through. Now I'm stationary at the moment. The moment I start walking, I'll show you. I'll actually save state. Bowser's message will appear. I'll start walking any direction. Bowser's message appears. To get rid of the message, jump and then hold forwards, and it doesn't appear. So. Yeah, you just do that. Just be careful you're not crawling when you walk through, or you'll end up uh, not jumping, and you'll still make the message appear or something, you know. It's, it's, it wastes time. Okay, so this level is easy as, assuming you don't be silly. What you want to do is go over here. Now, I advise being in Mario Cam. Like, it's not really Mario Cam, it's C up, I believe. And you just want to come down here because the reason I say being this view is because it allows him to change his change his direction a lot quicker than it would in his C down or just standard view. Now there's other ways to get this star, and I am unable to do them. I haven't learned them yet, so you can just go look up Dia Dia Docs uh, tutorials. But this is the standard. Everyone knows this way. Uh, way. And I missed the fin. Good job. So what you want to do is you want to go get here. Then the way I would do it, oopsies, is you want to just jump, and you can kick jump like this, or you can dive like that. You can just dive jump. Then from here, there's a little trick I do. Long jump into the fin like that, and it'll guide you towards the star. Uh, I didn't do a safe state, so I can't show you that again, but... As long as you're moving forward and you are at an up left angle, then it'll guide you into the star. Similarly, you can do it on the right side, you can do it at an up right angle and it'll guide you into the star. Just long jump, it works. So from here, you're up to the next Bowser level. Just dive jump or find your own way to get into it, doesn't matter. Now, this is an annoying level. I don't really have a route for this level. I just kind of do it like this and I'm going to show you how I do it. This is the easiest way. You just burn yourself in the lava, you come up, you want to dive jump there, and I made a mistake. So I will show you that again. So you want a long jump, long jump, come at the top, dive jump, land over here, dive jump over here. Wow, that was wide. Uh, don't burn yourself. That's silly, and no one wants that. Are you kidding me right now? Mario, please. Mario! Oh, you... okay. Oh, no. Okay. So this health will actually do good. And sometimes I back jump up because it's easier. And then you want to do a double jump into this wall and end up landing here. That'll take practice. Just... I hate it. And my jumps are off. And we're going to be late here because I wasted time trying to explain things, but that's okay. And wow, I almost fell in the hole like a silly person. I hate this. Okay. And here, this is just a waiting game because we got late cycle. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you two different ways to do this. Oh, go away, go away. Okay. I'm going to show you the way I used to do it. Okay, so... I'm actually going to wait for this. Generally, when you come up here, this lava will be going down like this, and you just long jump, long jump, and if you're fast enough, you won't burn your butt, but that's okay. Then you long jump this way, one, two, and then long jump again, and you're up against Bowser. Or, if you're better, which I'm hoping I do it first go, I goofed that up. You can do a pro strat. And that's why I don't like pro strats. I still haven't. I'm actually learning this at the moment. It takes a lot more practice. And that's as far as I've learnt so far, so. 
If you want to go learn that, go learn that yourself. I might need to teach that. I just thought I'd show it off so that you know it exists. Now Bowser here is going to try and be a little bit of a poo head and raise this platform, but that's okay. Now the trick is, as soon as this stops, you want to punch his tail, which I mucked up. So because that'll pick him up and it's quick and all the rest of it. And I pressed the wrong button, so I didn't throw him. But that's okay. Also, I didn't explain something before. Ho make sure you're moving towards Bowser once he makes his cry. Because otherwise it won't activate this text box. Also, you need to be within a f specific vicinity before it actually activates the uh, code to trigger that event. Okay. Now, there's something here that a lot of people will forget as they start this run. I'll show you why. You think you're done, right? Well, the thing is, you actually haven't unlocked this door. So the only way to get out is to go back into Bowser's world. And exit. Bam! Easy, right? Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to go into this room here. I'm going to save sake because I haven't done one for a while. And there's a little glitch here that's a shortcut. Kick jump and you grab that ledge right there and it gets you to the top. It probably saves like two seconds if that. But it's a fun little trick. Okay, you've made it to the end of the game almost. And it is the most annoying trick. I advise you're in this view here. See down. I'm going to do a save state. And this is called a BLJ. Now a BLJ, or backwards long jump, is a glitch that uses oops, this technique here, which is the long jump. But as soon as you do it, you hold back. Now the way this works is I'm going to show you what it does first, assuming I can do it. I haven't done it in a while, so... Okay, I haven't done it in a while, so bear with me. Is It does this. I'll explain it to you once I get to the top. Ah, I hate BLJs. And so will you. Welcome to the family, everyone. Uh, okay, so it's all about timing. A lot of people say, oh, just spam the A button. Let me spam the A button right now. Well, look at that. Nothing happened. It's all about timing. Even though you're spamming, it's still in sync with some timing. And I'm trying to time it here, but it's not working. So the idea is you want to backwards long jump up these steps and it's going to cause a glitch that will actually cause you to uh, speed up so that you can get through the door up there, which is actually locked. I'll show you what I mean when I say locked. Oh no, you don't have 50 stars. How are you going to get through the door? And this is why I say people hate 16 stars. There we go, I did it. Okay. Ah, I hate it. Okay, so the way that works, now I said I'll explain it when I go up here, is Mario's forward distance is capped. If I was to get the debug menu right now and show you the speed, it would be maxed out at, I think it's 32, 31. But his backwards is actually able to be bypassed by using a backwards long jump. It clips the ground and such and forth and all these other things happen and confusing stuff. Uh, I'm not too good at explaining backwards long jumps, so I highly, highly, highly recommend you go find someone who is actually able to explain how to do it. And there's several ways to get up these stairs. There's a cool way, which I do, which is a lot of Taz do it, use, users do it. The only time I use it is if I use a, if my negative momentum actually gets me over this direction, then I might as well do it. But if I stop outside of this door, then all I'll do is I'll come up here. Whoops. As I'll come up here. I'll come up here. Okay, well, I won't come up here. I'll just go that way then. And, you know, you find your own ways. Really, it doesn't matter. It's only a few seconds, but once you get better, it starts to matter. Now, again, these are the infinite stairs, and no one likes them because they're gone forever. But it's easy to BLJ here because I can just do this, and eventually I'll get it. Let me time it. There we go. Here we go. There we go, I timed it. That's the BLJ, and you got up, now you're up to the last Bowser fight, so... Well, last Bowser world first. So, 
Let me go through the level with you first before I actually show you how to do it. Uh, this level is a lot easier to explain than the other level, the second one, which I actually haven't got a route for. I just kind of wing it. So there's different paths. You go up this way if you're less experienced, which I would say go this way. Again, if you're less experienced, you come down here and then jump this way. Then you. Oh, not do that. Okay. You go this way. And now you one, two, oops, I missed. Oh. Well. It's similar to that first one you did. Where you go one, two, three in the first Bowser world. Or you can kick jump. Remember this? You hold A and you press B. Same principle. Now you can go up the long way, which is like this, but as I said, when I go through this with you, speed running way, it's actually a lot quicker than you think. Oopsies. Almost fell off. Then it's a bit of an obstacle this way. And blah blah blah. Then it's practically the end. Uh, I'm resetting setting because literally it's probably straightforward as of there. This is probably the first half is the hardest. So you want a long jump? One, two, three. You just want to keep doing this. Now, when you get better. You want to stop in this red line, one, two, like that. That's the trick. And then when you get better again, you dive jump this way, and you come here. There you go, one, two, and I screwed up my own technique. Two, three. Now, remember how I said there's a quick way of doing this? Well, that's because you can go here, and just do that. See this? Now let me show you another trick, if I can do it. One, two, three. And I missed that, but that's okay. Now, normally there's a pole up there that you can climb up, or if you're like me, there's another way where you backwards, you just do that kick jump trick, and you hit this once. Then you just come down this way, backwards jump, and you're in the pole. Here, land on here. This will take some practice. I've missed this so many times. And then you can either go the long way or you can just dive jump here. Oh, don't let just grab. That's not good. And if that Goomba will leave me alone. Oh, no. The Goomba will leave me alone. Are you kidding me? Okay, well, you can dive jump there, but um, I'm silly. Silly, everyone. I'm silly. And you're up to the final Bowser. Now the final Bowser you want to get done really quick. You don't want to make any mistakes. Like that. Because once he starts his stuff, like this, that's the most annoying move. Because now I've got very little room to work in. Those blue flames, they follow you. Bowser, let me grab your tail, please. Jeez. Okay. Now I'm trying not to miss. Okay, well I missed. Good job. If you miss, I would probably say go into C down. Oh, not C up, okay. Because there's little rings there that will get you. Okay, let's see if I can actually beat him without dying. I'm probably gonna die. Okay, there's one. Now the trick to beating Bowser is you can actually grab his tail before he gets up, which I missed. I always miss the first one, but it's okay. Uh, I got that. Ew. So the way I do it is I just go. Bam. And so yes, if you miss, he will break these things off one by one. And after you hit him twice, they'll break automatically. So you've actually got to get really good with your aim. A, a trick, a, uh, a trick that I've seen people do with these speed runs is that they will throw Bowser with very little speed to get him closer and closer and closer. Which is good, it works, um, but it takes more time, so you get to a point where you just learn to do it. Anyway, after you've done those three, you just talk, get through this, and you get ready to stop your timer. The moment you touch that star, which I missed, you hit that, and congratulations, you've beaten the game with 16 stars. The second fastest way to win the game. 
fastest being zero stars, but no one likes zero stars because it's too hard to do. <laughs> uh, it's funny because I'm actually learning zero stars, but that's not the point. You've won the game. That's all there is to it. Congratulations. Now, my personal best at this time is 23 minutes and a half, I think. It's not too bad, but it can be done better. I do stupid things like I miss the Latiku skip and I make mistakes in the Shifting Sandland where I have to do the Talon the Bird and uh, it's a mess. I mess up my Bowsers all the time. And, you know, it's just these little things you've got to get better at. And over time, you will get better. Um, I would... If I could tell you this now, I would say, don't just look at this video for reference. I would say, go look at other people's videos for references. There is a few uh, that I've seen that are very popular in which I've learned from. But they do take a while to get used to, and sometimes you have a better understanding with different people's uh, point of view. And, you know, I might have gotten lazy at some levels. For example, the second Bowser level. <laughs> I really don't have any way to teach that level. I just suck at it, and I'm not very good at it. Uh, hence, I just kind of breezed over. I was like, eh, you guys can figure it out on your own. I love yous, but, you know. So here you've got this forever long cutscene. It takes too long, in my opinion. It's like, goddamn. But you know what? It's good, because once you've done your run and you get your personal best, and you beat world record or something, if you're amazing, which, by the way, you will not beat world record on this route. Uh... I mean, there are other ways to do it. For example, Elevator Glitch. There's another glitch. There's actually, like, three different ways to get the star for Elevator Glitch. Um, you can actually get rid of Elevator altogether if you do red coins in the first Bowser level. But again, that's a very difficult uh, star to obtain. So, it's all about personal skill, preference, and your willingness to learn. So, that about covers it for this run. Um... I am glad that you guys have made it this far if you've been watching and I would love it if you would subscribe and share this video with all your speedrunning friends uh, recommend it you know do the cool thing uh, get me up and going you know uh, I will be uploading just different techniques and things that I do a lot of the time it won't be voiceover it'll just be my techniques so I can concentrate and get things done properly but uh, yeah I will be uploading my speed runs and things that I actually record. I will be uploading from my Twitch when I do things on Twitch. Um, yeah, it's, it's, that's about it. So once again, my name is Time Travel Penguin. Follow me on Twitch. Follow my YouTube. You can find me on Twitter at twitter.com forward slash time travel peng because they have a character limit apparently. But yeah, you can find me there. You can find me on Ask FM as well, under the username of Time Travel Penguin. You can ask me all the questions in the world you want there. And I would love it if you guys ask me questions. It could be about anything. Speedrunning, personal life. If you just want to be silly. You know, just go ahead. I'm happy to communicate with you guys. That's it for me, everyone. So, enjoy the rest of this, uh, cr these credits. Uh, enjoy the music. It's only going to go for a few more minutes. Thank you so much for watching. You know, I couldn't be here without you guys. I wouldn't be here without people supporting me. Whether this video gets it or not, I have got a tiny fan base. And you know what? I love every one of you. Thank you so much, and I can't wait to see you again. It's Time Travel Penguin, and I'll see you next time.
so much about the playing in my game.